Are you a DocuSign user who's been using the envelope sharing feature for a while? DocuSign has recently changed the way that you share your envelopes between account users, and it's now called shared access. But what does it mean for you? How is shared access different from the previous envelope sharing feature? And how can you set it up? I'm going to answer all of this in this video. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Sofian Saudi. I'm the founder of Solisan Consulting. We help businesses with tons of paperwork automate operations so they can scale and serve more customers with fewer resources resources using best in class business tools. So if you're interested in our help, you'll find the link in the description of this video to book a consultation with one of our automation consultants. And if you are new to DocuSign, I strongly suggest that you download our free DocuSign Mastery Cheat Sheet because it will help you understand how to get started with DocuSign the right way. But for now, let's talk about the problems users face with the old envelope sharing feature. One of the biggest limitations was that users couldn't create new documents and send them on behalf of someone else, even if the envelopes were shared with that person. This kind of made it difficult for teams to collaborate on documents and share responsibilities. Because for example, you couldn't get your assistants to send an envelope on your behalf without having to set up an additional rule called custody transfer or sharing your password with them. That's the story that DocuSign came up with to explain why they're changing the feature to shared access. Shared access now divides the actions, a DocuSign user can take on an envelope someone else created into two different categories, shared access for sending and shared access for manage. And depending on your plan, you'll either have access to one or the other. Now let's compare what we were getting before with what we are getting now with a new shared access feature. So previously shared envelopes allowed their user to correct, void, resend, copy, forward, and track the history of an envelope. Those are the main features. Features. You could also transfer the ownership, extract the form data, and export it into a CSV. So technically, you could do a lot of things except for sending the envelope on behalf of someone else. And so that feature was available on any DocuSign account users on a Business Pro subscription or higher. But now, these envelopes actions are only accessible in the shared access for sending, which is only included in enterprise plans or if you have the advanced workflows add-on to your business pro subscription, which is not something that everybody has. They're like, what benefits can you expect from moving from the shared envelopes to shared access for manage? Still looking for them. Not a lot actually, it doesn't allow you to manage much. I don't even know why it's called shared access for manage. I really don't get that. That means that if the sender of an envelope is away and you have shared access for manage, you can't do anything about it. You can't correct the email if you send it to the wrong person, you can't cancel the transaction, you cannot resend the envelope to the same person. There's just nothing you can do about it. I mean, the only thing you can do is call that person who's on holiday and say, hey, can you give me your password? Not a great way of sharing your envelopes. In my opinion, this move is a disservice from DocuSign because it leaves users without their previously available features unless they upgrade. However, the send option now, so the shared access for sending, now includes more features because it allows a user to create an envelope and send it on behalf of the user who's sharing the envelopes with them. So this makes it easy to create the perception that a user sent an envelope when it's actually someone else who did. It's great for me who works with an assistant, for example, so I can ask my assistant to send the envelopes on my behalf and nobody would know that it's not actually me sending those. Am I sounding super negative here? Yeah, it's the only benefit I've found in this whole thing. Okay, now let's see how to set this up. So as an admin, what you'll want to do is go to your settings. You need to be an admin for this. It won't work if you're not. Then go to your users tab. Once you're here, just look for the user whose envelope you want to share with someone else. It doesn't have to be shared with you. It can be with anyone else within the team. So just go to actions and then manage shared access. And here we can still see the shared envelope feature, which is the old one. It's still available. We can still use it technically, but it's no longer updated. And DocuSign confirmed to me by email that they are going to remove it altogether. So I'm not going to show you how to do this with the old feature. You can find my other YouTube video on that topic. I'm going to show you now how to use the new shared access feature. So once you've selected your user, you're going to click on share access with others. And then here, you're either going to have allow to 
manage, which doesn't get you many manage features, but anyway, or allow to send on behalf. And so you gotta click on either of those. I do, I am using a sandbox here, so that's why I have access to all features. I'm gonna click on next. And from here, you wanna select all the users who should have access to the first user that you've selected. So by selecting these people, you're telling DocuSign, these people should have access to the first user you've selected. And then once you're done, you scroll down and you click on save. We just got a confirmation. We now get a list of all the users who have access to that user's envelope here. If we want to see that user's envelope, we're simply gonna go to manage, shared access, and then click on the users whose envelope you want to access. So if we go to sent items, for example, we can see all the envelopes they have sent and then we can either resend, we can correct, we can void, and we can also click on new, which means that we can create that new envelope half of that user. But again, this is only if you've got a higher subscription plan, not if you are on a standard business pro. Now let's talk about a couple of things you'll want to consider before start using DocuSign Shared Access. First, if you want to send an envelope on behalf of someone using a template, you will need to have access to that template yourself. You will not gain access to the template owned by another user simply because they're sharing the envelopes with you. If you need access to a user's templates to send something on their behalf, you need to ask them to share the template with you. DocuSign said that further enhancement of the feature are anticipated, which will fix this issue in the future. Second, you can't do a bulk send. And if you don't know what a bulk send is, it's basically sending unique copies of the same type of document by hundreds of thousands at the same time. So you don't have to do it manually. And you can't do this on behalf of someone else, even if they share access with you. If you want to do a bulk send on behalf of a user, you'll need to set up a custody transfer rule or log in as them. And finally, you can't import documents from from the cloud storage account of the user whose envelopes are shared with you. Only importing documents from your own Google Drive or OneDrive, the cloud storage is supported. So in conclusion, DocuSign Shared Access is a new and improved way of sharing envelopes that provides more flexibility and control to users only if you pay more or if you're on a high subscription tier. If not, you're actually losing on features. I have personally asked DocuSign when the previous DocuSign envelope sharing feature was going to be phased out and the support person said that it was already done, which is weird because as we saw, it's still available on the account. So they might remove it at any point very soon. Anyway, you can still keep using it for now, but if your business relies on this, just make sure that you won't get caught by surprise. So it's best to switch to the new feature now if you're already using it. And if you'd like our help to automate your document workflows, you can schedule a strategy session with one of our consultants using the link in the description of this video. Our services include templates, databases, and integration development to help you do 10 times more with the same or even fewer resources. I will see you in the next video. Ciao.